Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we're taking a look at the Bellphone BF OG200. They're camping FRS style radios. So we're going to go ahead and get into the box and see what it comes with. So our first thing we have is a user manual. We then have our actual radio. We have a belt clip with a small included compass. We have a rechargeable battery pack. This can also use double A's I believe. Yes, double A's in place of that if you need or want. We have a USB charging power adapter. a USB charging cable. We have a small lanyard. We have an earpiece that also has a microphone if you want to talk more covertly. And we also have a USB to PC cable. All right, so to power up this radio, what we're gonna do is pop the back cover off. There's a small button. We're then gonna take our battery, and it has two little dimples here, and they actually fit right inside the radio here. So the label side goes out, you just push it in, and it clips right down. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the buttons and parts on the radio itself. If we look over here on the right side of the radio, we have our USB charging port. If we looked on the left side of the radio, we have our team building button, which allows you to program multiple radios at once. We have our push to talk button. We have our power button, and we have our SOS emergency button. If you look at the top, you can see we have our port for our speaker mic and our flashlight bulb. If we look at the front, we have our up and down arrow keys for menu items, volume, and adjusting levels of different things. We have our microphone, we have a push to talk button, we have our menu button, our flashlight button, our OK and lock button. We also have our vibration and alarm bell button. And on the bottom, we just have what could be used as a clip point to attach this radio to a backpack or something like that. Okay, I wanted to bring the menu in here to show you guys just what the symbols mean. Here we have <clears throat> launching and receiving or transmit and receiving. We have our scanning on, our monitor mode, which means you're just going to hear anything and everything, noise, uh, if there's no signal or you'll be able to pick up any signal regardless of their CTCSS or DCS. Then we have our battery capacity. We are showing here our plug-in earphone for our uh, covert style mic. We have our FM radio, a stopwatch countdown timer. There's your vibration mode, ringtone FM radio, our Vox setting if it's on or off, then the team building and the join team, like I talked about, which allows you to actually set up multiple radios at once. And then our keyboard lock. And then you can see there, that's the location of where those items would be on the screen itself. 
So now I'm going to pull off our little protective film here. And I'm going to go ahead and power on the radio. All right, and so you can see right there, we are on channel one and utilizing our squelch, or excuse me, our CTCSS tone one. So if I press OK, I'm able to change a channel. So we have up to 20 channels here. So if I change that to channel 10, and I'm happy with that, you can click OK. Then you can add in your privacy tones or CTCSS DCS tones here. Uh, I personally like to run it with no tone. That way, if anybody else is utilizing the channel, uh, I can hear them as well. <clears throat> so then if we go into our menu, you can also you can monitor another channel, and that's what this is here. So I can set up to monitor channel two. Or if I want to change it, I press OK. And then up or down, I can change it to channel 15 if I want. Press OK, no tone. And then it takes me back home. So menu, if I go up, there's our scan function. You just press OK and it'll start scanning. And if anybody's transmitting on any of those channels, there's somebody there far enough away that we're not able to actually hear what they're saying. So I'm going to turn that back off. Okay, and then we're going to continue on our menus. Go up again. So there's monitor mode. So I'm going to continue back on our menus. So this is monitor mode. If we turn it on, you can see it gets real noisy. Okay. So we're going to go back through. So here's our Vox setting that we can turn on. And you can set the sensitivity. So you can see with the Vox on, just a level of audio will actually trigger the Vox setting. So we're going to go ahead and turn that back off. Then we're going to continue in our menu. So here is our stopwatch. If we wanted to run a stopwatch, and time something, we could use that. And here is our countdown timer. FM radio, you can turn that on. And you can press and hold your up key and it'll start scanning for channels. There's no channels at the place that I'm at right now. I'm actually out camping, which is why I thought it would be kind of fitting to test these camping style radios. And then this is where we can adjust the ringtone if we send a call out. So here with this button, if we are on the home page and we press and hold, we can lock the keys. So if you don't want to accidentally change any of the settings, or if you wanted to give this to a child uh, and not have them be able to mess with whatever you have set up, you can turn the lock on and just press and hold again. You can turn the lock back off. So if you want to transmit a, in an alarm tone, or a notification tone, say, hey, pay attention, I'm about to talk. You press this button below here, and it'll transmit that out. 
If you press and hold this button, it turns on and off your vibration setting. Now for our flashlight, you, you can short press the button and just use it for a split second. Or if you press and hold it, you'll hear that tone and the flashlight will stay on and you can use it. You can also press the SOS button. You can turn on your SOS emergency. Press and hold it to turn it off. And if you press and hold the flashlight button and then the SOS button, it'll turn into a flashing mode if you need to use it as a beacon. And then press again and hold to turn it off. So those are all the basic functions of this radio. You can also set a timeout timer and you can utilize quite a few features that you don't see normally on these camping style radios. This has a little bit extra. It takes just a little bit of time to get familiar with the menu layout and uh, figure out how to utilize that. So real quick, before we move on to any of our testing, I wanted to show you guys here in the manual, they also do include the CTS, CTCSS standard frequency table. So if you do set a CTCSS tone, this is what it's actually going to translate to. So if you set it to number five, it's going to be 79.7. And then you also have your DCS codes over here as well. So you can utilize those and it tells you in the menu uh, wit at which point it changes from CTCSS to DCS tones. So that's just for food for thought. So if you wanted to add a privacy tone to your radio, you could totally do that. Uh, you do not have to. And like I said, I prefer not to. I would rather just be on an empty, unused channel. That way I'm not interfering with anybody else and nobody else is maybe listening to whatever it is that I'm having to say or using in conversation. So anyway, so that covers the initial overview of the radio. And at this point, I'm going to try and set up, I bought a tiny SA spectrum analyzer and I'm going to try and set this up on frequency and just show you guys a little test. This radio, I cannot take the antenna off, which is part of the FRS standard. It has to be a physically permanently attached antenna. So I'm going to set up an antenna on the spectrum analyzer and we're going to give that a shot and see if I can key up this radio and be able to see it here on the spectrum analyzer. So let me get this set up and I'll show you guys that test. Okay, here we are, I got my tiny SA filter set up. And I found out that the programming that came in the handy talking is actually for a different country, so the frequencies were wrong. So thankfully I was able to go in the programming and get that fixed and set for US frequencies. So here we are, channel one. I'm gonna go ahead and key up. And you can see 462.561 and 2, and it's bouncing between those two. And the frequency should be 462.5625. So it's bouncing between 561 and 563. So slight frequency variation. Mind you, I'm not directly connected. This is just going through an antenna. So there's going to be a little bit of room for error depending on the location at which I hold the radio changes a little bit. So there you go. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So it is outputting uh, approximately on frequency. I, at that level, I'm not sure exactly how tight this uh, tiny SA Ultra gets as far as uh, accuracy. But I uh, wanted to dis display that for you so you can see that it is functioning. So now that we know the radio works and it is now on the correct set of frequencies, 
Uh, I think we're going to set up and do some testing. I'm going to have my wife walk around the campground and I'm going to stay here in the trailer and we're just going to do audio checks back and forth along the distance uh, around the loop to verify uh, that we can still hear each other. So let's go ahead and get to testing. Okay, I got my wife out and about doing the loop around the camp. So we're going to go ahead and start our first radio checks. So let's see if she's ready. Are you at checkpoint one for the first radio check? Yes, we are at checkpoint one. I read you loud and clear. Checkpoint one, testing. How does our audio sound? Your audio sounds good, nice and clear. Go ahead and proceed to checkpoint two. So we are actually camping uh, up near Crater Lake in Oregon, and I thought this would be a perfect time to test out these radios since they're essentially a camping radio. So it just kind of fit hand in hand. So let's go ahead and see what checkpoint two sounds like, and I'll just edit the video along the way and cut it out so you guys will just have instant results from each checkpoint around the campground. At checkpoint two, radio check, radio check, checkpoint two, over. I have you loud and clear at checkpoint two. How is my audio? Nice and clear, hear you nice and clear. Copy that. Proceed to checkpoint three. Approaching checkpoint four. How does our audio sound all the way over here? Copy that. Your audio sounds pretty good. Just a tiny bit of noise on the background, but your audio is still clear and, and readable. Copy that. Your audio sounds nice and clear to me. I'm near the road, so wondering if you're just picking up that background noise, but your audio sounds nice and clear here at the checkpoint. Copy that. Go ahead and proceed to the next checkpoint. We are at checkpoint four near the river trail. Checkpoint four, how do we sound? Checkpoint four, you're sounding loud and clear. Uh, still a tiny bit of background noise. That might just be because my speaker's turned all the way up. Uh, however, it sounds clear, and uh, I think this will be our final checkpoint as you'll now be getting much closer to uh, our location. So thank you for the radio checks. Copy that. It was our pleasure. We also hear you loud and clear from this checkpoint. Um, we will be approaching your location soon. Over. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that was just around the uh, campground that we're staying at. It's probably somewhere between an eighth and a quarter mile from here to the farthest checkpoint, which was uh, checkpoint three. And so, you know, it it's functioning as a standard FRS radio, I would expect it to, you know, in closer proximities, you know, you're gonna get pretty good communications as long as you have line of sight. Here, we're in a metal box, our trailer is aluminum uh, sided, and uh, there's a lot of trees and stuff here in the campground, so, you know, there are things in the way, but it still works fine on a close and local level. Uh, my overall impression of these radios is they feel pretty good in the hand. You know, got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, I like that it comes with the rechargeable uh, AA replacement three pack, and you can also run just regular batteries depending on your use. Uh, these radios have more features than other standard camping radios that I've seen. Uh, so that's kind of neat, you know, the ability to program multiple radios using a single radio, uh, the timer, and the uh, stopwatch. You know, those are interesting features to have here. Um, 
overall, it's it's essentially a FRS camping radio. It's kind of fun with the compass on the back. You know, I think these would be great for for kids. Well, there you go. It's great for kids. Um, there's my son right there talking on the radio, uh, and I think that it's it's a good option. You know, it's not something that I look at and say, "Hey, this is." Yes, Dada copies you, but I'm filming the closing of my video, so I'll have to wait to talk until after Dad's done. Okay, so, um, there's not much that I would say that would, I would say, you know, I see this radio and I'm like, yes, you have to get this radio, but I think it's definitely a good option if you're looking for a fun radio for camping and going outdoors with your family, and it's something that's, you know, Really, relatively affordable and has a couple kind of neat features so uh, the one thing I will say is make sure if and when you order these from Bellphone that they are programmed for your specific country to ensure that you have the correct frequencies uh, I believe due to my testing uh, position for them here it uh, you know I was provided with the program so I could look at the software however I don't think that's a standard thing that's going to be coming out with these I'm not sure about that, uh, you know, you'd have to ask them directly, but I would just assume that whatever you get is going to be programmed uh, just like every other FRS radio. So they, like I said, they let me look at that stuff just so I can kind of see what's going on. But anyways, uh, yeah, go ahead and check these out. I'll leave a link to the website down below and I have a couple more Bell Phone radio videos coming out soon that uh, I'm looking forward to testing and sharing with you guys and you utilizing my tiny SA Ultra so we can see the frequency and then also see our power on my uh, watt meter on the workbench back at the shop. So anyways, yeah, I think that about wraps up this video. It's a fun radio, cool place to test it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will check them out. They also have all sorts of other radios. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and click the like button. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one as we have a lot more radio content coming your way. Thanks for watching.